YouTube, Sequin Shinobi here with an unboxing of the April 2015 Arcade Block. So we never actually took a look at March's Arcade Block, and I'd be happy to do it right now, except I kind of tore everything out of it. Um, but I really did like uh, March's Arcade Block. It just, March got really, really busy. Um, and, or rather, April was really, really busy, which had March's box in it. But anyway, here we are with May and April's uh, arcade block. Again, really late. Um, I was out for a week. Uh, so I am back. I've retrieved this from the mail and I'm ready to take a look at it. Um, so uh, for those of you that don't know, arcade block is the same people I do nerd block um, brought to you by the people I do shirt punch, I believe. Uh, and it is $19.95 plus shipping and handling for everything in here, which is usually a pretty good deal. You always get a shirt, which is always really nice. I like the boxes that give you shirts. Uh, but one thing I did notice on here, and I haven't been paying attention, I don't know when this happened, but um, it says it's from Tanawanda, New York. So at some point, they stopped being a Canadian-based company. So that's that's pretty cool. I dig that. Um, oh, okay. Alright. Um, where to start? Let's start with the shirt. We always start with the shirt. Um, I love this shirt. Uh, my girlfriend will love this shirt, but I'm keeping this shirt forever. So, we have a... They said there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts themed item in this block, and here it is. Get, the, get out of here, tag. I dig that a lot. So you have the Heartless uh, emblem back there with Sora uh, via Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe. Hanging out, being pretty cool. It's kind of a basic shirt, but um, it is exclusive to uh, Arcade Block. So um, I always dig exclusive things. So I will I will check uh, that out and wear that sometime this week. Um, is this the keychain? Anything with this 8-bit treasure. So it's just a little keychain with an 8-bit uh, treasure chest. Nothing crazy, but definitely pretty cool. Um, we have a Pac-Man... Uh, salt and Pepper Shakers? It says Salt and Pepper Pots. Are they actually? Yeah, they're shakers, I think. I don't know. Let's open them. Let's find out. Let's find out what these look like. So here is the red one. I forgot which the red one was. There's Inky and Blinky. I think Inky is the red one. Maybe not. Whatever. But anyway, they are here. Hanging out, being salt and pepper shakers. So salt. Uh, this is Blinky, and this is Inky. I know, Pac-Man. They're not the greatest things, but I actually kind of like them quite a bit. Um, we have various salt and pepper shakers in our house, um, but these ones might actually stay on the table if I get approval from the one that controls the uh, dining room layout. So I hope I can use them. I like them. If not, they'll just kind of sit in my room somewhere. But that's kind of cool. So, another cool Pac-Man item from the Nerd Block family. Um, <laughs> typ typical, right? So, you ever go to Toys R Us and you see the Skylanders and they're completely separated from their packaging? This happened here. If I ever wanted a clean-cut whirlwind package, I have that now. Um, so, they're like, oh, a Skylanders item in the box. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I like Skylanders. I don't play it anymore or anything like that. But I still kind of keep up with it, looking at them in the uh, Toys to Life vial and stuff. But I wasn't expecting an actual Skylander. I was expecting, like, a pack of dog tags or coins or stickers or whatever the heck that they do. Um, they, they got a whole lot going on, but I wasn't expecting a figure. I really wish it was a Trap Team figure, since I have none of those. <laughs> but it is a Spyro's Adventure. Toys R Us probably contacted them and was like, Hey, we'll give you all these stupid toys that we still got sitting in our freaking warehouse. 
free, and they're like, okay. But anyway, so I got another Whirlwind. I have Whirlwind, but uh, this is a little bit beneficial because I really do enjoy Whirlwind, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'll probably see if Cat's niece has Whirlwind and give it to them, I guess. But that is kind of whatever. Um, but this is probably the star of the box. They uh, pimp this one out quite a bit. Uh, this is the Video Games Live Level 4 Arcade Block Edition. So you can only get this disc in the uh, arcade block of this month. Uh, so it is basically just recordings from the Video Games Live uh, Symphony Orchestra, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is really cool. Um, I've always wanted to check out Video Games Live. Uh, and uh, this is just a really uh, kind of neat thing to do. Uh, so we have Donkey Kong Country, uh, League of Legends, uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, Cave Story, uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Uncharted 2, Zelda's Lullaby, Resident Evil 5, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Bioshock, <laughs> Earthworm Jim. That one's kind of cool. Uh, Chrono Cross and Castlevania Rock Live. Uh, so that is really cool. I will definitely be importing this into my iTunes. Put that on my phone. Uh, so that that is really cool. I appreciate that quite a bit. Um, and then we have whatever this is. It's a magazine. Uh, retro. Readretro.com. Issue 7. So it's a legitimate magazine. I just never heard, freaking heard of it before. But um, I'm always up for new magazines. I get Game Informer and I don't really flip through it a whole lot. But I'll take a look at this. I always appreciate magazines. Seems like a little bit of a cop-out thing, but whatever. Alright. Um, this cheat code I want to use in real life is... Fill out this card, snap a pick, tag with Arcade Block Talk for your chance to win a Retro N5 system. It's one of the knockoff systems? Okay. But it says, what did you think of this Arcade Block? We'd like to know. Oh, you will know. I will let you know. Uh, so, what is this? Oh, so this is the thing that tells you, except they redesigned it. It looks kind of cool. It's like a video game cartridge, except it's kind of shaped more like a SNES cartridge, but designed like an NES cartridge, but we have the Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers. Two of Pac-Man's greatest foes have made their way to your dining table. Don't worry, they're not causing trouble this time. Shake these ghosts over your meals to add some flavor to your food and to spark some nerdy conversation on your next dinner party. New this month, Retro Magazine, jam-packed with gaming goodness for the masses. So that is the front side. We have Kingdom Hearts t-shirt. Show your fandom for Kingdom Hearts with this exclusive Shirt Punch t-shirt only for Arcade Block subscribers. Love this shirt? Check out shirtpunch.com. Uh, for more pop culture tea goodness, they have four new designs every day. That is true. Shirt Punch is cranking them out. Um, all, the, all the little shirt stores kind of uh, started increasing how many shirts they had, which uh, is bad for me because I tend to like those shirts a lot. A Skylanders figure. Bridging the gap between toy collectors and video game fans, Skylanders is a force to be reckoned with. Add this figure to your collection to the uh, to the game. The more you use a uh, character in game, the stronger it becomes. Collect and trade these among your friends. Trade? Did anyone actually do that? Do they trade Skylanders? That's a weird thing to do, I think. Video Games Live, level 4. You don't have to travel the world with Video Games Live to enjoy the touring or orchestras. I can talk. Or orchestras. Um, creative take on classic and contemporary game music because we've brought the music to you! Yay! Uh, this exclusive edition of their latest album, Level 4, includes two tracks that are exclusive to Arcade Block. So I lied a little bit. The, the, uh, the block itself, um, the, the, the disc itself is available, but the exclusive bonus tracks are available only here in Arcade Block. Uh, treasure Chest Zipper Pole. I might put that on my jacket, actually. Uh, it's dangerous to go alone, and now you won't have to. Simply add this Treasure Chest Zipper Pole to your favorite jack jack jacket. Jacket. It's, it's one of those nights. Uh, hoodie or backpack to get the thrilling feeling of finding a new treasure chest wherever you go. 
And then finally, Retro Magazine. Each issue of Retro's uh, is retro jam-packed with content written by game industry icons and journalists covering the very best in interactive entertainment from the classics of yesteryear to the blockbusters of today. So, I will check out the magazine and see how that is. Um, and I will listen to this and see how this is. But not a bad block. Um, it's not the greatest arcade block um, ever. But uh, it did do a lot of things that I like. I really like the shirt. I love Kingdom Hearts. So that shirt is always appreciated. Uh, I like the CD. Um, if I like all the tracks on the CD, I'll like it even more. Uh, the Salt and Pepper Shakers are actually kind of cool. I do dig those. Um... Being a kind of video game thing collector, I dig those. Oh, this is kind of cute. Pretty simple. Uh, the Skylander figure is the only thing I really don't like. Um, only because I have it, and I think most people that like Skylanders probably have it. So I don't think the block's really doing anything to promote Skylanders. It's like, hey, you got this figure, now buy the game. Because... I don't think most people are going to care. So the Skylander figure, I think, is a little bit of a, of a loss. Uh, but everything else is pretty cool. So I dig everything else. I would appreciate that uh, for sure. So I will take a look at the CD and all that fun stuff and see how it is. If you want to get a hold of your own arcade block, there's a link down in the description below. You can also choose from the Nerd Block Classic, uh, the Horror Block, and uh, Nerd Block Junior for both boys and girls. Uh, which are a little bit cheaper because they don't have a shirt. Uh, they come with a little bit more goodies in it. Uh, but those are all aimed at uh, kid franchises and such. Uh, so your kid can get in on the block action as well as you. Plus they just started an all new comic block. Uh, which is basically a very much focused on comics themselves. Not just franchises. But comics themselves. You get I think three different comics in it. And then I think one shirt. That's comic related, and then I think one uh, sort of comic book hero sort of item might be a pop, it might be a keychain, I don't really know what they're doing over there. But um, since I'm not huge on comic books, I like a lot of the franchises, but I'm not a huge comic book reader, I just decided not to bother doing something like that. Um, but that is an option for you as well, so if you want to take a look at any of those, the link is down in the description below, just click on that and you can get to all of them. Uh, from that one main page. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.